Think of him as a bank, but on the building, it doesn't say bank, it says pizzeria and restaurant. You can get a slice of pizza, or you could ask for an envelope. We're sharks. We're loan sharks. We're a collections agency. Business is always going to be around. The tricky part is to get the people to give the money back. We handle the business. We don't play. Of all the loans, six out of ten, I have to go say hello. If we got to make two trips, there's a problem. Don't mess up no deals with none of these people. You'll die, man. These Chicago Sharks, I mean, real live killers. There's so many creative ways to do this. That's the fun part. Take bolt cutters to people's teeth, cut all their front teeth out. One guy was taken, he was laid down. They took a car and they ran it over his kneecaps. Went to work every day with two casts on his legs to get the money repaid. Those are the kind of things that can happen if you don't pay. Who actually did that? Not necessarily for me to say. I'm Chuck Wagner. They call me Ace. I am a Chicago native. He knows everybody. He's a pretty big shot here in Chicago. The guys that say I'm in the outfit, oh, I'm a made guy, look out, talk down their face. Real made guys don't talk. People who don't respect him, maybe they fear him because they know they're going to get a beating. That's how aces know, somebody not to fuck with. You can be an ass, but always be an ass. Because if you're nice one day and an ass the next, they'll never know what to do with you. I'm Bobby. I am Chuck Wagner's wife, but I call him Charlie. We live in Louisville, Kentucky. He likes her removed from the business. I work part-time in a church. Believe it or not, he actually comes with me. He is known here as the nicest guy in the whole entire world, and nobody has a clue what's going on with him in Chicago. When he comes home, he is Charlie Wagner. He is not Ace. If he ever refers to himself as Ace in this household, I might just smack him in the head because I don't know that person. I don't like that person. My name is Kurt Calabrese. I rent them a little part of the restaurant. They pay me good rent. He did his time in jail. He doesn't want to get involved again. He likes to be low profile because there's been a lot of press about his family recently. Most feared mobsters in Chicago is dead. Frank Calabri Sr. died yesterday on Christmas Day while serving Murder, a Murder, extortion, life. and loan sharking. I know the business. I was part of his business. It's in my blood. Our relationship as far as father and son wasn't very good. His dad literally forced him into it. He's been through a lot, had a lot, knows a lot. I cannot operate in the business. I've got a bullseye on my back when it comes to the federal government because I wouldn't cooperate with them. Can't afford to go back to prison. Ace, anything that he needs my help with, I'm there for him. Marty Shannon, a.k.a. Lucky. Marty's got the biggest reputation. Reminds me like uh, Joe Pesci style. Yeah, little people need to feel like big men. Marty has worked his whole life to get that reputation. If he thinks he's better than me, fine. Go tell him go fuck himself. Marty make a dead man nervous. Be nice to the people on the way up, because you're going to meet him on the way down. My name's Alberto Garcia. Basically, go collect. Very simple way. I go to him. Know what I'm here for. If they don't got the money, I'm taking their cars. Type of guy that would cut you from here to here. You know not to fuck with me. And my weapons is right here. Yo, I'm DA Smart. I'm known for hanging out in the project. Ace was the only white guy that would come to the hood kicking with the brothers. Real smooth guy. Someone that I can really trust. I never leave home without my pistol. I call it Jesus, my savior. I'm getting called into the situation. Shit done hit the fan. His name is James Bush Tate. He's been affiliated with the Russian mob, which is really hardcore. He doesn't want to be that violent. A lot of times I'm working security, which is what I know. But if I was getting beat, he would eat a guy's head, rip his arms off, and beat him with it. He's a big bear. If I had to tussle with him, I mean, I'd have to get up on a ladder, punch him in the throat. My name is Jimmy the Hat. Jimmy the Hat is a hangaround guy. You need a nightclub spot. You need girls. Everybody calls Jimmy the Hat. I'd say Ace is bitch. He doesn't work for us like Intel. He wants to be one of us. Your brother you were born with are probably not as close to you are as your crew of guys. We got to put him in the program. If he fucks up, we punish him. It's here in your face. I'm going to tell you the way it is. My name's Sal Romano. Sal has an edge in the fact that he's in the clubs all the time. 
He's got a lot of intel. He likes dealing with all the degenerate uh, strippers. A lot of things could go on in the strip club. A lot of money exchange. I shake your hand, you shake my hand, we made a deal. No lawyers, that's the deal. No matter how bad things get or whatever you need, they will be there for you. Not everybody's cut out to do this. I need to know that whoever I'm with or whoever I'm working with is going to have my back 100%. This is a business. I convince people to pay me or to get paid a price.